Hi, I'm Mike Capazzola from the Investing Channel, and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on the bets that the movers and shakers on Wall Street are placing. This week, we're looking at a stock that sits on the boundary between computer science and biotechnology, one that helps drug developers to bring their products to the market far quicker than would previously have been possible. This is a space that's attracted the attention and money from some of the brightest and most successful minds on Wall Street, and those from the world of technology who see the crossover between medicine and computing as one of the great frontiers of human knowledge and understanding, one that they believe could deliver real advances and benefits to humankind as a whole. The company that we're looking at today is Schrodinger Inc., which is NASDAQ listed and has a market cap of $5.25 billion, an annual sales of just over $108 million. Schrodinger was founded back in 1991 by Richard Friesner and Bill Goddard and made its first software sales just over a year later. Schrodinger's physics-based approach to drug development is all about scale. As the company's website explains, traditional approaches allow scientists to test 1,000 compounds a year, whereas Schrodinger software can test and model billions of molecules in a week. A quantum leap that helps explain why the business is named after famous Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger, one of the fathers of quantum mechanics. Schrodinger IPO'd in early 2020 and raised $232 million when it did so. The IPO priced at $17 and the stock finished its first day's trading at $28.64. The share price hasn't really looked back since and traded up to $117 on the 22nd of February this year. Schrodinger has been backed by very rich and very bright people, including Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, one of the world's richest men. However, another billionaire has had a much longer association with the business, and that's David E. Shaw, a genuine Wall Street legend who is often credited with inventing quantitative finance. David Shaw is a computer scientist turned trader, much like his long-term rival, Gene Simmons of Renaissance Technology fame. Shaw started at Morgan Stanley in 1986, working for the Automated Proprietary Trading Group. And during that time, David Shaw would effectively invent statistical arbitrage, a trading process that looks to exploit mathematical anomalies, mispricings, and deviations from long-term trends among tradable securities. In 1988, David Shaw left Morgan Stanley to set up his own hedge fund, D.E. Shaw, a firm which is credited with reshaping the hedge fund industry. Mr. Shaw's net worth is estimated to be around $6.2 billion. David Shaw first put money into Schrodinger in the late 1990s, and he's remained a shareholder ever since. At one stage, he and Bill Gates owned as much as 40% of the equity in the business between them. However, Mr. Shaw has been lightening the load in terms of his holdings in the company. In fact, in the last week, he sold just over 141,000 shares at an average price, a fraction just above $72.25. Those sales raised $10.6 million, but they're just the tip of the iceberg because David Shaw has been consistently selling Schrodinger stock since mid-September 2020. Since then, he sold just over 9 million shares at an average of $63.69 a share, raising a total of $573.4 million. At $74.49, Schrodinger's share price remains above Mr. Shaw's average sale price. However, following its last set of earnings in early March, the stock fell sharply, and it's now more than 36% below its all-time high. Mr. Shaw has made billions for himself and his investors by spotting when other people were wrong and stocks were mispriced and exploiting those opportunities. Schrodinger may well have a bright future as a business ahead of it, but when one of the smartest people in the room is selling a stock, you should probably think twice before you consider buying it. That's all we have time for today. Please make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.